Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm doing a quick flip through of my Moterm Lux in the color Black Krakow. Um, to get it started, um, this is the Lux. It has an upgraded secretarial style pocket on the left hand side and the right hand side, as well as um, a fly leaf and 30 millimeter rings. Um, just starting it off, I don't have anything in the zipper pocket, but if I was to, I'd put in my driver's license, my health insurance card, and maybe some spare change. I don't have anything in this um, bottom flap, um, but I did make a journaling card. I just haven't um, put it in here and laminated it. And then I have some routine cards for social media. I don't have anything in this back flap and nothing in the back pocket as well. Getting into the fly leaf, it is similar to the one that comes in the Versa in that it has a pen loop. It also features the three secretarial style um, card slots. And I just have my Uniball Jet Stream with a Pentel and a Gel 0.3 millimeter refill in it. Um, yeah, I give more of my first impressions in my latest unboxing video, so if you haven't seen that, I'll link it above. Getting into my first dashboard, this is what I have. And then I have my yearly overview from Peanuts Planner Co. Most of my inserts are from there, um, unless I mention it. And you can always leave a comment down below if you're curious as to where I got something from. And then I have my word of the year spread that I made, um, just using um, Word. And then I have an SM Plans checklist insert from her Facebook group. It's a freebie. And I just have um, my inbox. I'll be doing a more updated video on my inbox coming soon. This is, yet again, another dashboard. And I go into my first divider, which says diary. All of my dividers and dashboards I've made. And then these are just my monthly spreads from Peanuts Planner Co. These are actually a freebie from her Facebook group. Um, and she just put out her 2021. So I think you should go over there if you're interested in getting these for your planner. And then I just have a file of facts ruler, and this is just my monthly spread for the month of October. Moving on from that, I have the whole year. And then I have this freebie from Elmon Paper Co. that I laminated. And then I have this pullout with monthly boxes, and I just have um, dates for school in terms of exams, dropping classes, etc. And then I just have my monthly highlights pullout, which I haven't filled out because it's also from Peanuts Planner Co. This is yet yeah, again another dashboard. And then I have my weekly spreads, which is under the divider overview. And I just put this one where my spread is for that week. Um, I'm a little behind on weekly spreads just because I've had so much going on, but this is what they normally look like. And this is a, a printable from Peanuts Planner Co. It's 163, I believe, if you're interested in that. And then I have my Today Divider. I was using these from Take Care Darling on Blogspot. They're free. However, I just didn't need the daily spreads once I moved to those um, upgraded weekly inserts because they have enough space for me to write down tasks for the day. So um, I had predated these, but didn't get around to using them. This is my list divider. And in this section, I made these inserts and I just have my um, planning routine broken down by um, function or time. And then I just have a run through of everything that's in each of my sections. And then getting into this, this is a piece of lined paper from Peanuts Planner Co. And I just wrote every category of my life and do's and don'ts. Um, it's kind of hinges on the level 10 life and setting goals, but I couldn't, it just didn't work for me. So this is a lot simpler and I like it. And if ever I'm pulling like a goal or a habit I want to work on, I can go to this section. Um, and then getting into my personal tab, I have a journaling insert from Peanuts Planner Co., which I love. I was doing one for every day, but I kind of fell off the bandwagon just with COVID and everything. But I'm hoping to start using these again. And then I just have this freebie from EO Edits. And on the back, I've put a couple of photos and stickers. And then I just have an Avery um, label there. And then this is another yearly thing from Peanuts Planner Co. It comes in a set. And I just have a mood and pain tracker. And then I have my period log. 
And then on the back of that, I pick a goal to focus on for each month and some sub steps. And then this is my exercise tracker, which I've been horrible at filling out. Um, and then this is my passwords with a cover from Annie Plants Printable, and I just didn't print anything on the back. And I just have lined sheets of paper, and I've just written out the website, the username, and the password. But I'm going to stick over that for obvious reasons. Next, I have this dashboard. This divider says grind on it. This is some art that I made. Um, yeah, and then I have my weekly schedule for my classes and then when teachers are having office hours and then I just have a blank one for something else. Um, I didn't end up using this other one, but I have it in here. But this is a modified insert from Peanuts Corner Co. I believe it's a fold out weekly. I'm going to leave the name in the description box if you're interested, or you can leave me a comment, but I just only printed one side of it, if that makes sense. And then I have this art print, and it just says makeup is art, beauty is spirit, with some makeup products. And then I did have a fold out from Peanuts Planner Co. of the month just for academic tasks, but it was just too bulky. Um, so I moved over to this month on one page, which I like a lot better. And I just have October and September. And then these are just random chicken scratch from class. Um, of, you know, things that are going to be on my exam, what's the presentation, finals, etc. Then I have this other divider that says socialite on it, and I just keep hashtags for social media, some YouTube ideas, and then um, notes for projects related to social media. And then in this inspo AF section, I have this dashboard from Inumi Plans that says Scorpio AF, and then I have um, some goals pages, and I've just written out my goals from three months to lifetime, and this was a really fun thing to do in the beginning of 2020, um, so I'm hoping to move some of these to new pages for 2021 and write some new ones. And then I have this divider that says Squirrel Gang, and I have these contacts, or contact sheets, rather, from, I want to say Lux Planner, but I'll figure it out and leave it in the description. And then I have this um, insert from Peanuts Planner Co. with the two boxes. And then this is my dashboard again. And then I just have this um, divider that says Moolah on it. And this is my money section again with that Annie Plans cover. And then I just have a check register insert. And I've just sort of listed out everything um, from my savings account, etc. And then this is when I was budgeting, I was using these, um, but I just haven't had to do that. So um, that's hence why they're blank. And then I have this divider, it says hustle. And this again is an Annie Plans insert. I actually have the insert printed for this section. Um, and it just says all of the requirements for my degree. And I'm pretty much almost done with everything. So that's great. And then I have a list of stuff in my dorm at all times. If I'm ever in the store and forgetting something or if ever, God forbid, something was to happen and I lose some items, I can always reference this. And then I have a section titled The Ren, and that's, once again, everything related to social media. Um, and then I just have some notes for YouTube and Instagram. And then... I had this yearly pullout, and I was going to plan out my Instagram content, but I just kind of do it more sporadically. And then I have this last divider that says whatevs, another any plans um, section cover. And then I have a categorized list insert, which has my all of the inserts I own. And then I have a hair tracker, and then I have um, an old shopping and planner wish list and add to planner list, another planner wish list, and then this is just, um, again, those two box inserts and some blank long-term paper because I have so much I need to figure out how to use it. And then I just have this clear pocket. My stencil's normally in here, but I think I left it on my desk. And then I have this um, last final dashboard. And then in the back here, what I love about the Lux and it being compact is you also have these horizontal card slots, which I love. 
so I just have my content cards, if lost, inbox, grind, which has some items I do every semester, like, you know, going through the syllabus and what have you. Then I have this inspo card. I think, like, with COVID and everything going on in the world, it can be stressful. So these are just some things I like to do um, when I feel like I'm in a rut. And then I just have my business card um, at the bottom with my name on it. And that is all. And then I do have the Moterm business card in the back here that this comes with every planner and it just, you know, says their Facebook group and um, you should go there to check out more pictures. And then it has this pen loop, which since I have one on my flyleaf, I don't feel the need for this, but it's great that I have two if ever I'm in a situation where I need both. And that is it. I'll see you in my next video, guys. You're going to want to stay subscribed. I have a lot of fun surprises coming up. Um, so I hope to see you over here and also on Instagram. Bye guys.